China, we'll always be China. China, we'll always remain. Just like the bluebird when it's sunny weather. We know the sun will shine when we're together. Lonely, oh, we'll never be lonely. Only if one of us strays. But we know happiness will always find us if we're China's till the end of our days. Da 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 do do China's. All belong to China. China's all belong to me. Just look down at the blue side. We know the sun will shine. China, we'll always be China. China, we'll always be China. China. Hey, Frankie, you all right, Frankie? No, I'm not all right. I'm upset. I'm sorry, it just came over me. This has never happened before. <laughs> sorry, Josie. It just, it just happened and I couldn't help myself. Wait a minute. I just broke up. You can't up. start crying in the middle of a show. <laughs> I can cry if I like. <laughs> it's me and cry. You know the old saying, Josie, the more you cry, the less you'll... I don't know the finish of that. That's lovely gloss, isn't it? That's Dulux. You got a big white dog with a brush in his mouth today, that. Come on now. Oh, that's terrible, Josie. There, there, there. Big China, what's the matter? Well, it's just when we were singing that song, Chinas, I started to think of my family. How they all, how they all went. How they all did the bunk, oh, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. The Mackenzies, my lot, they beat it. And the Tianis, your lot, they got off their mark and all. And all the brothers and all the sisters, they all left. Budgie. Uh, they to hire a double decker bus. Ah, and the budgie went up the stair. Ah, well, that was the only one that smoked. Uh, it's no good start in life. Oh, but wait a minute, Francie. I mean, you, that was an awful long time ago. I know, Josie, I know. And you weren't all that happy with your family, were well, you? No, yeah. really, no. I mean, especially your mother, no. Mrs. McKenzie. <laughs> Mrs. Mackenzie, your mother, she was right off the wall. <laughs> Mrs. Mackenzie was near my mother. <laughs> she wasn't your mother? No, I just said that. She wasn't my mother. I've, I've, I've never told this to anybody, but I was taken in one morning along with the milk. <laughs> the same thing that happened to you. Ah. Somebody wrapped me in swirling clothes and they put me in a wee basket along with 12 bowls of milk <laughs> and two dozen rolls and they whipped a lot in. And they didn't know my name, so they just called me the wee basket. <laughs> Basket. 
and I had the label tied around my neck and I said to the label, to whom it may concern, please look after this Wayne. And there was a PS, please return the basket. <laughs> He's nobody's <laughs> child. <laughs> He's nobody's child. Oh, Josie, 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 don't sing that song. Please don't sing that song. I know. Makes me think of the Alexander Brothers. Oh, <laughs> Jack. I mean, it's right. The, the Mackenzies were a nice family. You know, they were ah. kind. I mean, I mean, they took me in. Although they had ten of their own already, ah. they never noticed an extra wane. No. See? And you'd make up the pit body. Ah. There was Alice, Bertha, Chrissy, Donna, Effie, Flora, Geraldine, Hazel, Ina, and Quits. Quits? Quits. Well, it seems that uh, uh, when Mrs. Mackenzie was having the tenth wain, she says to her man, I'm calling this Quits. <laughs> Of course, she was deep, wasn't she? What? She was as deep as a doornail. Deep as a post, that, that That's where all the trouble started. How do you mean? Well, they went to bed at night, and Mr. Mackenzie whispered in her ear, do you want to go to sleep or what? <laughs> and she said, what? I read up. It was our sisters you had. I was brought up with ten lasses. I'll tell you something. What I've was never that? I've told you this before. Right. You remember the, the wee blonde one with the ringlets? Mm -hmm. I fancied her something rotten. <laughs> that was me. After a while, they don't call me the wee bass, they give me a proper name. They call me Francis. Francis, ah. We are knee. We are knee. And for four years, they made me wear, had me doing frogs. Frogs? <laughs> and had me doing knickers. <laughs> knickers? Aye. Uh, mind you, when I come to think, I quite like them. <laughs> I felt kind of secure, you know. Ah, they would keep me tidy. I would think they did Oh, compact. Dear God. So it was you, I fancy. Hey, Mr. Bean. Ah, James, just as well, we're very good friends. <laughs> That's well, what on earth made them think you were a lassie? Well, you see, it's Mrs. Mackenzie. It was all lassies she had, and she's that stupid. She thought all wains were made the same. That's the truth. Well, I, I can understand that. You know, I mean, she must have made, uh, you know. She must have made. <laughs> She must have sort of, uh, you know, uh, she must have realised that there was something uh, different about you, you know, that, that, that you were... She must have noticed. No, well, she didn't notice. See, Mrs McKenzie, that she, she had not time to notice anything, Josie. No. And I suppose with Dane Waynes, Mr McKenzie wasn't exactly hanging about either. Oh, he was <laughs> They must have given me a bath. Well, oh, they gave me a bath. Well, I mean, she must have, ah. at one time, she must yes. have had you on, on the edge of the sink, in the scud, in the sink, right? and, and she'd be washing you about with a washcloth, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, she must have seen where she was going, <laughs> and, and realised that, you know, there was a wee extra. <laughs> Josie, that's the trouble, Mrs. Mackenzie. She'd never seen, she didn't know what like a wee boy looked like in the scud. And she had me in the scud right enough in the sink, stood me up and slushed me down, and she knew where she was gone. And then, when sh she saw the wee extra bit, ah. well, she just thought it, it was something left over from the umbilical cord. <laughs> So 
So we're on the lost court now. The lost court. <laughs> but when, when did they get around to understanding that you were a wee boy? Oh, that's when I was about five. I took the wind every day. The wind, something murdered all the wind. So they rushed me to the doctor's. I just got in three minutes into his room and he jumped to the chair and he got a big pole. And I says, hey, you're not going to use that me. He says, no, son, I'm just going to open the window. <laughs> so we're just two wee orphans in the store. That's all we are. We're, we're nobody's child. <laughs> we're nobody's child. Just two wee baskets. <laughs> We're nobody's child. Hey, wait a minute. What's that, Joseph? What was your basket like? It was a grocer's basket, Samuel M. Dunn, grocer. Aye. That was my basket. No, it couldn't be. It was mine. It was my basket. How do you mean it's your well, basket? Well, it was my basket absolutely. See, what I think's happened here Aye. is the Mackenzies must have returned that basket, right? As requested. They were asked to do that. And it must have been the same woman that used the same basket to put me in it and leave me outside the tyranny's door. The same woman? We must have had the same mammy. My, how the same mother? Josie! Francie. We're twins. Twins? <laughs> After all these years, oh. we've just discovered... Could you give her a, get us a chair here, would you? Twins? Please. <laughs> That's no way to treat two legends. No. <laughs> What's this for? Come on, just for fun. What do you mean, just for fun? You know, come on. What are you doing? Sit down. Oh, I don't believe you. <laughs> don't believe you. Climb upon my knee. <laughs> I've seen the lot do. Climb upon my knee. What's my name, Josie? Funny boy. Funny boy. What's my age, Josie? <laughs> I make you 53. The hell are you laughing at? 53, having a lot of worry, that's how I look like this. I make you 53. What's my name, Josie? Funny boy. Funny boy. Though there's no way of knowing, except your pension book is showing. <laughs> Just the same as me. What's my name, Josie? Funny boy. Funny boy. When people say we're... What do people say, Josie? We're dying each other's hair here. <laughs> do they not know their wigs? They've seen the glue. Oh. <laughs> What's my name, Josie? Funny boy. <laughs> Why don't we own up? Like what, Josie? We've just never grown up. Oh, now, Josie, that's a lie. You know it's true. What's my name, Josie? Funny boy. Oh, Josie, here's a hard one. Where, 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 where do you think I came from? You came from Govan. <laughs> and I know your worth. And when did you arrive, Josie? When you were seven. I joined you here on Earth. Hey, wait a minute. Are you trying to tell the punters I'm older than you? <laughs> what, 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 what we said? What did we say? We said. This we said. This we said. And what about the future, Josie? When we think we're past it. Oh, my God. What have we got to remember, Josie? That we shared a basket. <laughs> Cause, Cause I still have you. Juicy! Francie! Funny! Boy! Lovely! Good up! I am emotionally knackered. 
I'm going to lie down for two or three days. <laughs> oh, and don't forget your Auntie Jessie's birthday. Oh, yes, I'll get them all. It's called Vanish. She sprays all over there. She disappears and everybody wonders oh, where the smells come from. Oh, wait a minute. Did you, ah, did you get it? Vanish. She no, sprays all no, over there. No, 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 it's nothing to do with that. It's nothing it, to do with the Vanish. It's you and me. What do you mean, you and me? Francie, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't What's think that? we're even related. No related? How? Well, what was your basket again? Samuel Dunn. There you are. We can't be brothers. Who? Sammy Dunn was Jewish. We're not even related. Just through drink. <laughs> but that was a very emotional segment, wasn't it? I mean, the Mackenzies and the Tierney's running away and leaving. That's the truth. I was overcome with emulsion myself. <laughs> now, China's have a big surprise for you. You're going to enjoy this. I'm here to sing for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and here's a wee note about this song. It's a lovely little song. It was written by a sewage executive. <laughs> That's a high-class scaffy. <laughs> and his name is Ahmed Pakora. Isn't that a lovely name? <laughs> Ahmed Pakora. And he lives at number 18, the Perfume Gardens, Lahore. <laughs> and as we all know, that's French for a well. <laughs> we'll not go too deeply into that. <laughs> Apparently, he rattled off this little song while he was shoveling shh. <laughs> Surely that can't be right. <laughs> My God, it is. Well, somebody's got a day. Well, here it is. It's a lovely song, it's called Hada Curry, Hada Curry. I was hungry. I was hungry. I was hungry last night. Could have eaten. I had hungry. Really hungry last night. Fancy a curry. Fancy a curry. From an Indian. Restaurant. Last night, I fancy curry. That was spicy and strong. <laughs> it was scorching. Really scorching. Like a torch in my mouth. <laughs> Last night, my mouth was scorching. Really scorching. That's the truth. Biryani. <laughs> Biryani. Could have buried me instead. It tasted like my sannies. As my face turned bright red. Ate it quickly. Ate it quickly. Far too quickly. Last night. Last night, I ate it quickly and felt sickly all night. <laughs> Daily Bailey. <laughs> and a curry. Daily Bailey. <laughs> Daily Bailey, last night, should have stayed in and watched the telly. <laughs> Deli Bailey, last night, started sweating. <laughs> really sweat. As I came on down. Last night, I started sweating. I was sure I would do. <laughs> Began to worry. Began to worry. As I walked up the street, I was worried about what they carried. I just hoped it was deep. <laughs> I was stumbling, tummy rumbling, as I walked quickly home. The way I was walking, you'd have thought. I was lame.
Ajari. Ajari. I was worried. You see, I was worried that the curry when they come here with me. Started running. I was done it. I was sure all was lost. Can you picture me running? We bathed my legs crossed. Money. <laughs> then I rift it. Oh, I rift it. Oh, I rift it. Last night. Oh, I rift it. Could he shift it? Did he shift it? Last night. Consternation. Consternation, consternation last night. I don't mean contemplation. Quite the opposite. Last night came the dawning. I was yawning. I've been up all night. And with dawn's early light, I decided I'd have a curry. I was at my head. <laughs> Big finish for my summer to Curry lovers. <laughs> a bundle of rubbish. And now, <laughs> something really classy. This is really classy. Here he is. It's Juicy. Yes, lovely.
Danning has said that was pure dead brilliant. Uh. And I've just come on to ask you if you'll do something, a big, big favour. What? Just one more time, are you going to tell the Chinas they are broth gang? <laughs> yes! <laughs> they are broth gang? Aye! I'm <laughs> waiting for heaven's sake. I've been doing that for years. I do I don't remember it anyway. <laughs> I mean, I don't even remember what I did last night. <laughs> you remember all right, and I'm here beside you. And just remember, this is your last chance ever. You'll get to tell them their broth gag, and he tells it marvellous too. Sure you want to hear their broth gag? Yeah. Yes! Yes, broth! If you really think so. <laughs> tells it marvellous. Well, but listen, promise you'll no shout at me. I'll know my mouth. You know, it puts me off. <laughs> well, here we go then. One last time. <laughs> How's it go again? I went to Mr. Chief, you told it a million times. I'll start you off. There was this chap, and he chapped at the door, and he says to the chap, the answer to the chap at the door, is your sister in? Oh, I remember, I remember, I remember it now. He's got it now, wait, got it. It. This is worth coming into here. <laughs> there was... <laughs> I'm laughing already. There was this, there was this chap, you see. <laughs> and he went to this door, and he chapped, he chapped to this door, you see. And uh, he was a plumber to trade. <laughs> what are you talking so about? He's a plumber to trade. What are you talking about? A plumber to trade. Huh? Who said he was a plumber to trade? You know what I'm going to tell him? Stay, stay in the face. I'll tell you this right to your face. You know what you are? An Egypt. You're nothing but an Egypt. You're a big Egypt. That's all you are, an Egypt. You said you wouldn't have shout at me. I, I didn't mean to shout, Josie, but I'm just trying to impress upon you the fact. I'm just trying to tell you. The fellow that chapped at the door wasn't he a plumber? He wasn't he a plumber? No. Then why did he say to the fellow that opened the door, how is your system? <laughs> Josie, there's no remission there, you've got a system. You, man, you said it, that's the way you told the joke. You no. thought you were stunning there. And you said, this fellow went to the door, and he jumped in the door, and he said, pardon me, how is your system? Josie, this fellow's only been at the door three minutes, and you've got him installed a new system. <laughs> this is when you always make the same mistake, you fall down at this, I think it's nerves, I think it's nerves. And he tells it marvellous to you. This is his best joke. Now, Josie, I'll tell you what I want you to do. Relax, calm yourself down, and just start all over again. And just remember, the fellow that chapped at the door was the uh, plumber. Well, what was he then? I haven't even got a clue. Maybe he was there to get rid of a wasp bite. Oh, wait, and don't be stupid. Wasps can he go a bite. I know wasps can he go a bite. That's not the point. It's just for a chant at the door. He's asking about his sister. His sister. His sister? Hey! And the plumber was there. No. So what you're telling me is that after all these years we've been doing this, this bloody plumber still hasn't he turned up. <laughs> Josie, I'm going to let you into a secret. Well, there never ever was a plumber. <laughs> there you There never ever was a plumber. No. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to say that it's this other fellow, this fellow who opened the door. It's all his fault, it's all in his imagination. He's been waiting for the plumber that long, he's become deranged. <laughs> Every time he opens the door to the paper boy, the fishmonger, he doesn't see the paper boy, the fishmonger. What does he see? He sees a plumber. So tell me this, smart ass. How are we going to manage to get this poor deranged man's system fixed? Oh, keep the heat, don't lose the wool. I'll tell you what happened, you what happened. They phoned the Samaritans. Oh. And they came and fixed his system. 
You're quite happy now. Oh, well, that's all right. He's got it now. Wait a minute, it's marvellous. Well, as you've got the matter attended. Has it finished? He tells it marvellous. This is best. This is worth coming into here. <laughs> well, there he's starting. There was a, there was a joke <laughs> about this. This fella who went to this door, you see, and he knocked to this door, and he said, Pardon me, he said, but is your sister in? He <laughs> did. Oh, stop, wait a minute. Stop. Eh? It's no a sister. It's no a sister. It's my fault. I made a, uh, it's my fault. I made a mistake. It's no a sister. Are you trying to tell me his sister's no here either? Ah. <laughs> Chelsea, I don't know where she is. I don't know anything about her. Maybe she, maybe she died young. Probably fell in the cistern and drew the cistern. <laughs> Josie, this is where we make the same mistake with two of us. We're always at this point. Because the joke's no funny with a sister. The only way the joke's funny is if you say it's a granny. It's got to be a granny, that's it. There was this chap, chap at the door, and he says, Is your granny in? We've got it now. He's got it now. Are you sure now? Are you sure? Sh sure, sure. I mean, this is the second time I've chapped that door and got no reply. <laughs> Bet they're all up in the attic trying to get that woman out of the system. Oh, forget about the attic, forget about the attic, forget about the woman out of the system. Forget about the house, they've moved the house. Just chat at the door and say, it's your granny in, it's your granny in. But which door do I go to? The one I've chapped or the one they moved to? Just do it, do it, do it. This fella knocked at this door. It was actually... Two chaps, but don't worry about it. There was two chaps. <laughs> well, that would be the plumber and the apprentice. <laughs> Forget about the bloody plumber and his apprentice. The time that you're taking to tell this joke, they thought I'll never get him tonight. There was two chaps, just carry on. Two chaps, carry on. This fella knocked twice at this door. No! He never knocked twice, he only knocked once. You just said there was two chaps. Well, technically speaking, that's right. There's this chap, chap the door. Another chap, answer chap the door. One door, two chap, two chap, one door. One door, two chap. And he tells it madness to you. Just a wee bit off the night. The Salvation Army turned up at this fella's door. They were collecting for the brethren. Well, they were at it, they gave the plumber a hand with the system. Stop! I have never heard such a load of rubbish. You're making the right pig's bakes of this joke. Now, Josie, I'm going to tell you a joke once. I will not repeat it again. There's this chap, and he chapped at the door, and he says to the chap, the answer to the chap at the door is your granny in. He said, no, she's at our bro. He says, don't you worry. I'll come in and wait until she's finished. <laughs> Having a plate of soup. Aye. You've got it now. I've got it now. Aye. Marvellous. Aye. He tells it marvellous. He's got it now. Marvellous. I love him telling this. There was this, there was this <laughs> chap at this door. And uh, when the door was opened by the fellow whose, whose door was chapped, <laughs> he said to this fellow, he said, Pardon me, has your granny finished her soup yet? <laughs> Well, I said, well, no, I said, as a matter of fact, we couldn't get the can open. <laughs> he said, we've lost the tin opener. He said, and I said, well, I said, well, don't worry about it. He says, I'm going to your bros and I'll pick one up for you. <laughs> what well, the name of heaven are you talking about? Who told you this fellow chap the door went to your bros? He doesn't even know where our broth is. Do you know where our broth is? Ah. Well, you better tell him, here's the clue. <laughs> Another thing, you couldn't care less about our broth. Are you worried about our broth? Ah. You seem to be, you've got, everybody's gone near broth, as far as you're concerned. Oh, ah. There's only one person at broth, keep that in your mind, that's the granny. Granny of broth, a broth granny, granny of broth, a broth granny. Ah. I'm sorry, Francie, I'm sorry. What is it, Joseph? Well, this, this is, 
This is just the place I, I, I sometimes go a wee bit wrong. You just kind of slip up here. And I, I'm sorry if I've misled you. That's but it, I, I should have I should have said, of course, it was it was actually the granny. Uh, yes. <laughs> Explain to me again. <laughs> why did the granny have to go to her bros for a plate of soup? She did, didn't go to her bros for a plate of soup. That's a joke. There was the any soup. There was the any soup. Oh, there's no soup. No, no soup. Oh, I'm sorry. We've run out of soup run again. Run out of soup. <laughs> <laughs> no, soup's half. Soup's half. Definitely half. Aye, and I'll, and I'll... But in the absence of soup... What happened? What the dear old granny did... Uh-huh. Tell me. Well, she got yesterday's mince and she heated it up. <laughs> she likes mince because she's lost her dentures. And she can suck this mince through a straw. <laughs> and she's sitting there, sucking away like mine. Oh, and the mince is going everywhere. It's all over the walls, all over the ceiling, all over the table, all over the dug. And it's running down her front into her wellies. And the minute she gets up to go to the toilet, she skits in the mince. <laughs> and she goes right in her elky, you know, and she has to swim. Hey! Hey! Yeah? Don't go another, don't say another word. For 30 years, been trying to tell this joke, you're no any luck, you're no much luck tonight. You've got this granny, I've never seen her in wellies. You've got her in wellies. <laughs> and she's got mints on the floor. <laughs> and she's slipping all over the mints to wait in the toilet. What's she going to the toilet for? I think you should handle that inquiry yourself. <laughs> Look, I'm going to tell you something. The old woman, the granny, she never reheated yesterday's mince. And she didn't suck it through a straw, and she didn't lose her dentures, and it didn't go out of the dump. So, there was no mince, there was no dentures, no dump, nor soup. Oh, it was nor soup, she had. Yes. <laughs> Well, I thought it was cross and black. Well, no! <laughs> Josie, when I say nursery, I mean she was, she was not having any soup. The old woman was a broth of granny, but she was having nothing. She was having nothing. She was there, but she was having nothing. You're so attractive when you're angry. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me <laughs> that poor old woman's away to your broth without even a sandwich? I get a rainfall because that's the joke. The joke is, was this chap chapped at the door? And he says to the chap, answer the chap at the door, is your granny? And he says, no. She says, our broth. He says, don't you worry, I'll come in and wait till she's finished. He thought she had a big bowl of soup with a ham shank in it. She wasn't having soup at all. She wasn't even there. She was way up the line to her broth. Do you know what I <laughs> Is Fancy, that what I've got a confession to make. What is that? I've never understood this joke. <laughs> but it shows you just the way you tell it. It's so no, no. funny. I've never seen it. I, I don't know why it's funny. I've never seen anything until... Oh! <laughs> ah! Ah! I see what you mean. He's got it out. I see what you mean. You mean the Chinese cook while they're walking? <laughs> Just a wee and that's all. Just a wee and notice our body can walk. There's a wee wife waiting in a wee button bed. 